Welcome back, everybody, to the Cave of Wonders. This is Mr. Wonderboy. We are playing StarCraft The Brood War, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Anyway, so we just finished destroying the first shield generator. And crap, I just realized that, uh... This is wrong... There we go. Unload all. Cool. Alright, so now we can move forward. As you can see, now we're back in the area of some operational missile turrets, so we're gonna no, want to take these guys. Destroy them. So that they don't detect anybody, so then we can use our Dark Templar to attack. Same in this direction. Just worth destroying these. Alright. So now we can move our detectors. As you can see, they can't see any cloaked units, so that no, means that we can send in our Dark Templar and attack very, so very easily, it. and they won't even be seen. They can't even stop me. Very well. Am I? For I am. Am I? Since uh, Dark Templar does 40 damage per shot, they really are nice. They one shot mar marines. They two shot fire bats. Now keep in mind that there are some uh, missile turrets right there, so it can be more of a danger to try and attempt to attack these guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send in these guys first to draw some fire, and then these guys to help with some damage. That wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, you're gonna take some damage, but not too bad. Only one of my uh, Dark Templars seemed to get uh, significant damage put on him. You wanna take out this stupid science vessel. Unfortunately, it's kind of dangerous to chase him around with air units because of so many missile turrets in this level. But I think you can... Dragoons are really, really freaking bulky. They're hard to maneuver. Annoying. Let's see what we can do with these guys. Get them down here. Nice. Get him down here. Excellent. Alright, now Stay we have all these will. guys. Scouts do very good damage Consider against air units. They're like the one thing that they're actually useful for. for. So let's see if we can just quickly... That should kill them. Yep. Especially since Artanis does a whopping 60 damage. Even does good damage to ground. Pretty nice. Definitely uh, my favorite uh, Protoss hero unit other than... Zeratul, even more than Tassadar, even though Tassadar can attack, which is awesome. Alright, 
Now let's get this this observer up here. So this is a very fun level, and it's actually one of my favorite in the expansion. As you can see, there is a place here where we can actually safely drop troops. So let's do that. Let's get these guys up here. Get this one. The cool thing about this level is there's definitely several ways you can beat each section, but there's definitely an optimal way where you can get by with a minimal minimum of losses, and sometimes you can get rid of like absolutely no losses for the most part of this level, and really only gets hard at the second and last third ones. The first two shield generators or three generators are not that difficult in my opinion. Anyways, let's take care of these guys. Keep in mind, there are some uh, big bunkers down there. I don't want him to take damage. Cool. Ah, oh, crap. They have a siege tank. Anyways, but that's where the dragoons come in with their range. Because even though... Uh, we have very powerful units, only our Dragoons, as of now, are ranged ground units, which can be uh, dangerous. But, you can use that to your advantage, because you can take care of stuff from afar that you might otherwise not be able to reach. And hopefully blind the enemy. Like over here, you can see there's some bunkers. I don't really like to attack the bunkers from this side. I much prefer to try and take them out from that side, but it can be dangerous. In the meantime, I'm going to get these two guys to try and take out this. Ah, crap. That sucked. Alright, let's grab these two. Get them over to here. Try and drop him off here. Let's see what we've got here. Let's bring this observer around. Give us some more sight range. Alright, this is another one where we basically want to just charge in and take him out as fast as possible. What's cool about this one is they actually don't have a lot of uh, marines in it. So you can uh, pretty easily attack with the Dragoons without taking a lot of damage. Oi. That bastard. Not liking that at all. It sucked. Anyways, that's taken... Take it out. Alright, now we can just wait for it to, uh... Just, just die. Oh wait, no, there were, uh, three Marines in there. Alright. I think it'd be pretty dangerous to try and attack with the uh, with the uh, zealots if they have fire bats. Try and kite those guys because they do a lot of damage to uh, zealots. All right, but that's that's all good and done. We don't need to worry about him. Just come in from this direction. Don't even need to worry about that so much. Just take out the shield generator. And once the shield generator is out, we can take our hot, our Dark Templar and quite easily destroy the enemy without them being able to stop me. Let's get him. Almost. 
Alright, there we go. So now, we can take out... Commencing. Reinforcements are en route now, young Templar. So be it. Now we can take out this. Awesome. All right, well, there's the second one down. Now we get to uh, work on reaching the third one, which gets a bit more tricky, but still not that hard. Anyways, I will cut it off here. We will see you guys next time in the Cable Wonders. See you later.